Welcome to St. Catherine's Church this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And God's with you. So friends, welcome this morning with the, the Easter sunshine uh, coming through these lovely windows here. We gather in joy in this Easter yeah. Sunday, or this second Sunday of Easter, um, to give praise and worship to Almighty God. And we, put, uh, we start our service this morning with perhaps a, a relevant uh, hymn for today, which is the day of the annual church meeting. 367, Jesus, where'er thy people meet. Let's stand to sing hymn number 367. <laughs> but we can praise loudly. And so, friends, as we gather this morning, we prepare for our worship as we say together our prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom our hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, then supports of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away our malice and evil and confess our sins with a sincere and true heart as we join together in our prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all those who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, 
Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you to life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And as we, as we stand, we can say and sing. Well, we can't sing. We will sing it one day. Um, we'll say together the Gloria uh, on page 5. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you are no other Holy One, you are no other Lord, you are no the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And we pray our special prayer for today, which is the second Sunday of Easter. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and in truth. Through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please do sit for our first reading, which unusually is the psalm. Please do sit. Um, psalm 150, which Jackie's going to lead us on, um, and we're going to try and respond with the refrain. So at the end of the, the verse, you see the, um, the word the letter R, at that point we, we repeat the refrain at the start, but thank you, John. And the refrain is, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I'm reading Psalm 150. Hallelujah! Oh, praise God in his holiness. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Let, Let everything, everything that has breath praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise him with the blast of the, trump of the trumpet. Praise him upon the harp and the lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancings. Praise him upon the strings and the pipe. Let, Let everything, everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise him with ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Let, Let everything, everything that has breath praise, praise the Lord. Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you, Jackie. Now, our next hymn I particularly chose, it's not one you know, so perhaps I will sing the first It's The words are based on the, the psalm which we've just read. So can you lead me through? Yeah. Um, there are there are three verses. I'll, I'll, I'll sing the first one. Praise him on the trumpet, the psalter and the harp. Praise him on the temple and the dolphins. Praise him. Few, few years since I've sung that. It is 
Okay, shall we give it a go? Yeah. Okay, let, let's have a go. Let's, let's stand up. Um, we risk singing it through twice. The second time we might get it right. <laughs> Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'll read in from the 20th chapter of the gospel according to John. It was on the evening of the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met was locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. And Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who is called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I have seen the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. And Thomas answered, My Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus made many other signs in the presence of his disciples which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
May I speak this morning in the name of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please do sit down. So last Sunday, on the glorious Easter Sunday, we shouted, Alleluia, Christ is risen, he is risen indeed, Alleluia. And on this Sunday, we continue the theme of praise and Alleluia's with our glorious Psalm 150. It is, as you might know, the very last Psalm recorded in the Bible. And after the amazing breadth of emotion amongst the other Psalms of complete desolation and despair to joy. The entire book of Psalms ends in praise, a praise of God who is everything and created everyone. So, Psalm 561 was based on that hymn, uh, on the Psalm, rather. So I thought it'd be fun to sing that. We may come back and do it again when I get the words in the right place all the time. Now, a bit about me. Having been an orchestral percussionist through school, university, and beyond, I am always particularly struck by the reference to the clashing cymbals. I can tell you when you stand at the back of a large symphony orchestra waiting for your entry, there is an air of excitement and a little nervousness. You know that for those moments, you are the soloist in the orchestra, and whatever anyone else is playing, you will take precedence if you get it right. Standing there holding the large 22 inch symbols in each of, each of your hands is a physical act of some force, and not just an academic exercise of following the notes on the music. So also I can relate that praising God is not an academic exercise following the notes and the words, but a physical act that when done effectively can overpower anything else. As I've said here before, we do the gospel, not just study the words. But following the gospel message and the extraordinary messages of the death and resurrection of Jesus is not easy, is it? And we read of the challenges of understanding and accepting, or the difficulty in accepting the impossible in the story of Thomas in that passage from John's Gospel. Now, for whatever reason, and we're not quite sure, Thomas was not with the other disciples when they met. One, of, one at least of the commentators I was reading suggests that Thomas was prone to depression and may have taken himself away, not able to fully cope with what had happened to Jesus. And perhaps if you relate to the enormity of that trauma, perhaps that is the case. However, for whatever reason, Thomas then came along the following week when Jesus was there with his disciples. <coughs> when he had been told of the meeting, with Jesus by the other disciples. He just could not appreciate the enormity of it. Perhaps he was still in shock. But Thomas said he needed to see the physical evidence to convince him of the reality of what the other disciples had told him. And one cannot underestimate the enormity of what people are being asked to believe in the Christian faith. We believe that the physical body of Jesus was killed on the cross on Good Friday and that on Easter Sunday he was physically resurrected, not as a ghost, as many have commented then and now. Thomas, for me, embodies all people who find it difficult to believe at various times and for various reasons. Perhaps some people find it difficult to believe when they see all the suffering in our world, or when a loved one dies, especially when they may be young. But the important aspect of the story for me, I think, is the response of Jesus. 
Jesus obviously knew Thomas well. And he also knew that he was around when he told all the disciples what was going to happen. Thomas heard that, so why didn't he respond in the way that everyone else did? Now, Jesus could have been angry with him for his lack of attention to all the times he had said it. However, if you read it, Jesus' response was loving and understanding. As if he knew that Thomas was having difficulty, was having more difficulty, in fact, than the others in believing. He did not criticise Thomas, but spoke lovingly and quietly to him. When any of us have doubts, as we all do at various times in our lives, then I believe we can all relate to Thomas, whether you're called a Thomas like me or not. We can be assured not of condemnation, but of a loving response and guidance on how to understand things better. And much of that guidance comes through quiet prayer. In the passage from John's Gospel that we heard, we also read that Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be with his disciples, to give them strength and support in their lives and their ministry. And through faith, we believe that same Holy Spirit is with us here this morning in this worship space and is available to all who believe. When we doubt, we can relate to Thomas and know that Jesus will lovingly guide us to a better way and always say to us, peace be with you. That is why through faith, we repeat that same statement at, the, at each service when we share Christ's peace. In all that, you know, we have every reason to praise God with trumpets, harps, tambourines, and those large symbols. Amen. Amen. Shall we stand for a moment as we, s we declare our faith together in the words of the Nicene Creed on page 7. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God upon true God, begotten and not made, of one being with the Father, to him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified and pontified. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who was spoken to the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please do sit or kneel as we come to our time of prayer. Lord, we thank you for another day. We, we give you praise that the same power that raised Christ from the dead resides in us, Father. And Lord, your, your will is found in your words. So we thank you for that. 
Right now, Lord, we just lift up the Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, the Bishop of London and Bishop of Edmonton, Lord. We pray that you'd help them make godly decisions um, to help guide the Queen, Father Lord, and the whole Commonwealth that she presides over, Father Lord. Lord, we give you thanks for the Queen and her government, Lord. We give you thanks for a recent 96th birthday and her entering her 97th year, Father. Thank you for the service that she's given us, Lord. Um, Lord, help her to lead your holy church, which is your plan for mankind, Lord. Lord, we speak um, to world leaders now. We just pray that they would make godly decisions, Father Lord, that there will be a lack of strife in their countries, a spirit of cooperation, Lord. And we know there's many places that are in um, conflict, Lord, but right now we just lift up the Ukraine, Lord. Uh, we pray that to the God of peace and justice, we pray for the people of Ukraine today. We pray for peace and the laying down of weapons. We pray for all those who fear for their tomorrow, that your spirit of comfort would draw near to them. We pray for those with power over war and peace, for wisdom, discernment and compassion to guide their decisions. Above all, Lord, we pray for all your precious children at risk and in fear, that you would hold and protect them. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you now for our local community of West Hampstead and the surrounding area, Lord. We just pray that any of the people in this area uh, who are in sickness or in sorrow, Lord, that you will take that sorrow from them according to the book of Isaiah and sickness according to Isaiah 53, 5, Lord. We just um, speak to need, Lord. And you say, Lord, if we make you our priority, Lord, all our needs will be met, Lord. We just come against any trouble, Lord. We know this is temporary. So as we walk through the valley of the shadow of the death, Lord, we know that you're there amongst us, Lord. We pray for schools, Lord, that godly teachers would be in those schools to speak your word and to lift up those children and help them in any problems they're having, Father. And Lord, I speak to the, the sick in the local community, Lord, um, for the continued recovery of poor man, Lord. We speak healing to Eleanor, Rick and Sue Hamilton Barrett, Lord. And we speak healing to Reverend Hugh's mother, Lord. We just pray that you comfort and bless her, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that to those who've uh, passed away, Lord, there's nothing missing, nothing broken now, Lord. They're fully restored and they're back home with you. And Lord, any who doesn't know you as personal Lord and Saviour, Lord, we, we thank you that you are the way, the truth and the life, the only way to the Father, that anyone under the sound of my voice knows that you are the way to righteousness. We can't get it through our own works, Lord, and that they should commit to you as their personal Lord and Saviour. On all these things, Lord, I just pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And all who believe said, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Matthew. So as Jesus did when he met his disciples, let us stand as we share his peace. The risen Christ came and stood amongst his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also you. So let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace. And peace to you for watching online now. Thank you. Um, our next hymn is one we've sung a few times already. It's a quiet contemplative hymn, hymn number 929, and I think usually, Alice, we can do it about three times. Okay. Thank you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Yes, Lord Jesus Christ, in baptism you give us your spirit of forgiveness and of peace. By this sacrament of unity, grant us to know your victory over sin and death, for you are alive and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell, and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of life eternal. And so in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation Sing forever the hymn of your glory as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these thy gifts of bread and of wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ is risen, and Christ, Christ is risen, risen and, and Christ, Christ will come again. again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death upon the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. 
as we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send your Holy Spirit, Lord, upon all your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one body. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world and mercy on us. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith and with thanksgiving. As we join together in our prayer, we do not presume to come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs from under your table, but you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. The body of Christ. The blood of of Christ. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep you in everlasting life. Mm -hmm.
And so in this Easter season of joy, we have been fed and refreshed so that we may go out and serve him in fullness of heart. And so we gather our prayers in the special prayer for this day. Lord God, our Father, through our Saviour Jesus Christ, you have assured your children of eternal life and in baptism have made us one with him. Deliver us from the death of sin and raise us to new life in your love, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And we join together in our first prayer after communion on page 15 of our service book. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. Well, friends, a few notices. Mainly, it is the annual church meeting immediately after the service. And what I'd like to do, if I may, because as some of you may know, I need to rush back to Wales um, immediately after the service to see my mother. Um, if you would be so very kind to stay in your places at the end of the service in a few minutes' time, and then I'll reconvene a non-church service, but a, a, a brief annual general meeting. Um, it'd be great. If, if you're not able to stay, absolutely fine. But if you are able to stay for what I will be a, a fairly short meeting, uh, that'd be great. For members of the PCC, we'll have a short... Um, agenda meeting immediately afterwards. So thank you for that. Um, if you need to grab a tea, you might need to be quick uh, because I'm not going to move out of here. Uh, Jackie, anything else I've forgotten? Uh, just about the rotors. They need oh to yes, rotors. Again. So there's a new new four sheets uh, which Andrew has kindly produced again for the period from Easter onwards. So if you're able to help out once a month, once a week, That'd be, that'd be brilliant. It, it's really important, I think, to have a welcomer um, to be able to not only um, do the books, uh, but also welcome new faces into the church. So let us stand and ask for God's blessing on us this day for whatever the future may behold. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord in the, in the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. And our, our final hymn is quite appropriately, after what I was saying earlier, we have a gospel to proclaim. So let's proclaim it as loud as we are able to this morning. Hymn number 716.
Thank you.